Get your very own Creecraft merchandise available at hellojuniper.com slash Creecraft. What's going on, Flakata? And Kata, welcome back to another video. My name is Creek, and today, guys, today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different because today, guys, today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of high school stories. So this is actually a, uh, a video I've wanted to do for a while. Um, I know a lot of you guys, I talk about you know high school stories and stuff like that in live streams a lot, and I've wanted to make like a video and maybe make it make this like a series or something where I just kind of like tell high school stories. Uh, I don't know. You guys, let me know down in the comments if you guys want more of these or if you guys didn't like it or or whatever you guys think. Let me know down in the comments, and we might do some more of these depending on how this video does. But uh, in this video, guys, in this video, and oh yeah, enjoy the jailbreak foot, uh, footage in the background. I thought it would just be a cool game, just put in the background while I tell a story. But in this video, guys, we're going to be telling the story. I know I tell a story a lot on the stream. You guys really enjoyed it. It's probably the uh, the best story you guys have, or uh, the best story you guys like from me anyway. It's the uh, it's the teddy bear story, guys. So if you guys don't know, <laughs> here's the story, guys. Here's the story. So uh, basically, there's something you should know actually about me before I go into this. All right, I used to be very, very social anxiety. All right, I didn't like talking to a lot of people you know talking to new people it freaked me out i was like a, a heavily introverted okay social uh, situations and group conversations i didn't like them i always got on my phone or i just kind of like didn't really talk or i stuttered a lot or i looked down on my feet stuff like that and um i was very very awkward and basically what happened i, I know i still kind of am but basically what happened is uh in eighth grade I went to this one, uh, it was like a, a youth class at like a local church. I went there with my cousins and we went there once a week. And um, when I started going there a few a few times into it, there was this one girl I saw and I was like, oh my God, guys. Oh my God, like 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 super pretty. I was like, wow, okay, fantastic. Yeah, she's the one, right? Obviously eighth grade. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna marry that one. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm gonna do. And anyway, uh, I was very awkward, guys. I was very awkward, okay? Cause time went on and uh, time passed and I always thought that I was being very clever with it. You know, no one knew that I liked this person. I was very, very careful with it. You know, nobody knew anything. But turns out, guys, I was extremely obvious. Everyone knew. Uh, I just didn't know that everyone knew I knew. Or wait, I said that backwards. And I didn't know that everyone knew that I didn't know. What? Okay, you guys, you guys get the picture. Anyway, everyone knew that I liked this person because it was extremely obvious, apparently. And I'm very bad at hiding that kind of stuff. And a few months go on, a few months pass, and we talk, we kind of become friends, and a lot of awkward things happen in between. Like, for example, there was this one time, it was uh, it was a Christmas party, and, um, and for a Christmas present, I gave her a Batman card. I printed out a Batman card, and it was... It was a Batman card, and it was it was um, it was a tech support. So if she ever needed tech support, you could call me, cause I can help you out with your tech support. That's not a joke. I <laughs> that actually happened. I printed out a Batman card, and 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 yeah, I gave it to her, and had three free tech support questions, cause I thought that was you know that was really charming. That was a great Christmas present. Guys, don't do that. That's a bad idea. Anyway, here's what happened next. So a few months pass and it's starting to begin, you know, February. February's coming up. It's about to be Valentine's Day. And I'm like, okay, this is my chance, guys. If, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do something on Valentine's Day. Because that's like, you know, that's the holiday they always do something on, right? And uh, I wasn't very smart. But every time we talked during Valentine's Day, she always mentioned giant teddy bears, right? No one ever got her a giant teddy bear. And she always wanted a giant teddy bear. So I was like, okay, cool. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to buy her a giant teddy bear. And I talked to my cousins about it. They were like, mm, that's a great idea. Let's do it. So that's what I did, guys. I went to Walmart. I walked into Walmart, right? I went to the aisle with the giant Valentine's Day stuff. And I got one of those huge teddy bears, like the giant $40, $50 teddy bears. I'm not joking. It was like as big as my body. And I carried it out of Walmart. I carried it, you know, put it in the car, carried it home, threw it on the bed because I didn't have anywhere else to put a giant teddy bear. So I threw it on the bed and I waited. And I Googled online and I came up with a plan. I'm like, okay, guys, I got a plan. This is how it's going to go down. So we were having a Valentine's Day party at the like youth center event thing, right? And my family, you know, my cousins, my family were going and it was it was our duty to bring the food. So my plan was this. All right. I was going to put the teddy bear in the car with the food. And then whenever it was time for us to bring the food into the event, I was going to get my crush to come out to the car with me. And then she would open it up. I'm like, hey, I need help getting the food out of the car. Come help me, right? She'd come to the car, open the door, see the teddy bear, and be like, oh, my God, I love you, right? And then, you know, hold hands and all that, you know, lovey-dovey stuff, right? Well, that didn't happen like that, guys. It didn't happen like that at all. It was it was actually kind of bad, actually. It didn't happen like that at all. So what happened was... um. 
my cousins told her about it, right? So uh, they kind of leaked the information, all right? Like a bad jailbreak leak. They leaked the information. So she already knew that this was going to happen. And so basically she got her brother, all right? And her brother's like a giant guy, big muscles, really intimidating. You, you know, I was in eighth grade at the time. He was like in college. So it was very scary, you know, because, you know, I'm, I'm this little toothpick white thing. He's this giant like football guy anyway uh her and her brother were uh, walk out to the car with me and this whole time i'm thinking in my head i'm like crap 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 what do i do what do i do i need to take out the brother somehow i gotta take him out i didn't do that that's a bad idea obviously so we just kind of walked out to the car and she opened the door she saw the teddy bear and she was like yay and she looked at me and i was like um and she was like thank you and she grabbed the teddy bear guys she got out of the car and then she walked off. She just walked right back into the building. And I was like, oh, okay, that 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 uh that happened. And then her brother stood there looking at me. And he just kinda like shook his head up and down. He was like, Okay. Okay. And then he walked back inside too. And I just kind of sat standing out there in the cold. And I was like, oh well that that did not that did not go to plan at all. So yeah, um, I kept going for a couple months after that and it was pretty awkward because the whole time, you know, her family was there and my family was there and like every time they saw me, it was just like, yeah, that's the teddy bear guy, you know, and it was very, 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 very awkward. So that, that happened. I would not recommend guys don't give your crushes giant teddy bears on Valentine's Day. It doesn't work out that well. Okay. At least in my, in my expertise, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'm not actually sure how long this is or how long this isn't, but that is the, uh, that's the teddy bear story. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard this before, but here it is in video form. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you guys want me to do more, uh, like high school stories like this. If so, I will. If you guys don't like these, then I won't, but uh, I definitely got some more to tell if you guys do want me to do more. So we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like on your way out. It does help me out and I greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click the bell icon to turn on your notifications and that way youtube will notify you as soon as new videos and streams do come out but thank you guys so much for watching we're gonna be streaming some jailbreak today at 3 p.m est as always so come on by and uh, we're playing some jailbreak live talking about the update and some cool cool new stuff like okay guys like the new update guys it's awesome i'm not gonna lie i know what it is i'm not gonna say what it is because it's huge and big but i know what it is and um and guys it's gonna be pretty crazy and that's gonna probably be revealed today so i'm pretty excited to see mo and bad cc are gonna talk about it and reveal it today should be pretty awesome but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye